Illegal building ideas are things that Mojang would never add to Minecraft, so instead I have. Crafted with four iron ingots, the wrench can push blocks and rotate them. The measure at which it does this can be changed by right-clicking it in your inventory. This already opens the floodgates for a lot of wacky builds, but here's where it gets even better. With the wrench, you can sneak and left-click to copy the block in front of you to the wrench, and then when you left-click, you paste it, meaning I can keep pasting this azalea into the same block over and over, which in theory will allow me to make some pretty wacky things. Ah uh, yes, the azalea wheel. And then I can copy this, and then paste it more. My frames are absolutely dying, but it's fine. I think if I actually push from the bottom, Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Azalea Sphere. Now I know what you're gonna say, one Azalea Sphere is not enough, and I agree. So if we control middle click the block in the center, we get a template item, and we can place the sphere as many times as we want and absolutely destroy my frames. All right, I've had enough of this. Ow, my ears. Anyways, with this block copy and paste system, you can make some pretty wacky things, which is how I made the house that I rotated at the start of this video. It was an absolute pain to create. Actually, let's experiment by grabbing a template of this building so we can place it anywhere we want. In theory, I should be able to... Yeah... Alright, screw it, I'm making a ring out of these houses. My game is an absolute slideshow, but this is gorgeous. And... Bye bye. Anyways, you know what else I need to change about blocks? Their size. So, I... Did. Crafted with iron and our favorite inflatable fish, we can make the pump, which, as you can imagine, can inflate and deflate blocks. I want to make Mojang employees cry. Oh yeah, and if you make a block go inside out, this is what happens. Hello, let me build a chair. Or your mother. <laughs> Hold on a minute, let me grab this template once more. Can I... Oh my goodness, what the heck? I think you get the point. This thing works on everything. Grass, amethyst, scaffolding, bells, kind of. Slabs, campfires, wait a minute. Much better. Campfires. And as you might have guessed, these scaled up blocks can be rotated, copied, and pasted all you want. Is it just me, or is there something about item frames that just make them really unpleasant to look at? Yeah, I thought so, which is why I have added the framed item frame. Extra frame, this is exactly what we need. But look, a diamond ore! Uh, it's fake? Yeah, it is fake, I drew it with crayons. No, seriously, I- I drew it with crayons. I added crayons to the game. Crafted with honeycomb paper and a glow ink sack, because I couldn't figure out how to make them properly work with light, you can make a crayon, which can then be dyed however you like. Hello. This single item takes the cake for the most difficult item I've ever had to code. But I am really happy with how it turned out. This feature has so much potential for you to spread nice messages all throughout your world. You can even draw on blocks that are not perfect cubes, which is really cool. And if you want to get rid of what you drew, you can just place a block over it. Or alternatively, wipe it off with a sponge. Now because filling in a whole block can get really tedious, you can craft a wax bucket that can be dyed as well. And it covers the entire face of the block you click on. This is my new Dr. Rat fan art. Thank you for your viewership until the end, this took me ages to make, and I hope to have a website set up soon so you can download the mod for yourself. Anyways, I'll leave you with one last thing. You can make them glow. Desaturate that subscribe button.